Today, the funeral of Father Stan Swami is expected to take place. The ailing 84-year-old Jharkhand-based tribal rights activist and Jesuit priest passed away in hospital on Monday as he was awaiting a bail hearing. He was facing charges of being a terrorist. Despite his worsening health, multiple appeals for bail had been turned down. In his words, Swami had told the Bombay High Court, I would rather die in jail if things go on as it is. Jail has brought me to a situation where I can neither write nor walk. Someone has to feed me. He had Parkinson's disease and his lawyers had to reach the courts to even give him access to a sipper. In a cruel irony, his death was announced in court during yet another bail hearing. मुझे बॉम्बे जाने के लिए भी अभी मजबूरी की जा रही है दिस इज समथिंग दैट इज अनएक्सेप्टेबल अकाउंटेबिलिटी मस्ट बी फिक्स्ड एंड पनिशमेंट मस्ट फॉलो It is in this hospital in Mumbai that Father Stan Swami died this afternoon. Ironically, the news of his death announced to the court during yet another bail hearing. Father Stan Swami tested positive for COVID when he was admitted to the Holy Family Hospital on the Bombay High Court's orders. He managed to fight off the infection. On Sunday, his condition deteriorated swiftly and he had to be put on ventilator support on monday morning he suffered a heart attack and died on monday afternoon in the icu of the holy family hospital father stan swami had repeatedly alerted the courts about the risk to his life telling the high court in a recent hearing that i would rather die if things go on as it is i would like to be with my own jail has brought me to a situation where i can neither write nor walk someone has to feed me political condemnation has poured in including rahul gandhi and kerala chief minister pinarayi vijayan both holding the government responsible international condemnation too from the special rapporteur of the european union and the united nations who said they had raised swami's arrest with the indian government Fueling the outrage were the doubts over the charges against Swami who was arrested along with several other activists in the Bhima Koregaon case for alleged Maoist links and even plotting to kill the PM Father Stan Swami's body will be taken to a government run hospital for a post mortem as he died in custody his body will be then handed over to Father Fraser Mascarenas a fellow Jesuit priest his last rites will take place here in Mumbai and not in Rachi or Jharkhand where he worked for most of his life with camera person Ashok Mahadik and Arvind Gunasekhar in New Delhi Sarab Gupta and DTV and condolence messages are pouring in and tributes to Father Stan Swami a message from the cardinal on him we are deeply saddened at the passing away of Father Stan Swami we give thanks to God for a Stan's life and commitment to the poor indigenous people and their struggles Father Stan's arrest was very painful under the Indian criminal law one is innocent until proven guilty Father Stan's case did not even come up for hearing and we were eagerly awaiting for the case to be taken up and the truth to come out And there's also a message from the All India Catholic Union on Father Stan Swami. The All India Catholic Association mourns the death of, fa of Jesuit Father uh, Stan Swami in the Holy Family Hospital, Mumbai, where he was brought in his last few days after facing inhuman treatment while in jail together with others arrested in the so-called Bhima Koregaon conspiracy to murder political leaders. Stan Swami and the others denied the charges as human rights movements accusing the state of using the draconian, unlawful activities. Prevention Act to crush dissent. Justice Madan Lokur, former Supreme Court judge, spoke on how he had been following Stan Swami's case very closely, even though he didn't personally know him. I did not know Father Stan Swami personally, but I had an interest in his case from the time he was arrested in October uh, last year. and i have been following the orders that have been passed by the courts from time to time and i must say that i have been extremely disappointed at the manner in which the courts 
the prosecution and all those concerned with his uh, detention have been reacting. Very sad commentary on the state of the justice system in the country, in particular the courts, for not acting in time. We are very, very disappointed with the performance of the higher judiciary in the country.